fucking tired. So right now, I'm I'm not gonna make fun of Dean. Dean, you're tired. Huh? How are you doing today? Oh, <laughs> I like gave into that. Right? Oh, I lied. I had to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're doing compression testing and leak down testing, two very important tests for diagnostic of your engine. So we're gonna get serious today. Joey is actually gonna be doing a lot of the work because I'm gonna like be. Like I getting, always do. He does a lot of the research. He doesn't do a lot of the hands-on. This is a chance for him to do a lot of the hands-on. I'm gonna be recording and I'm gonna be doing the research side since I need work with that. You know what I'm saying? So. First thing you want to do, we're doing a compression test first. First thing you want to do, let your car warm up. Our car's warm now, we're gonna move on. First thing you want to do is, you want to disable either fuel or uh, spark. Well, you have to take the spark plugs out either way. You, have to, you, might, uh, you want to disable either fuel or ignition, either way. So, all right, so what you want to do is, so get the quick cord connectors out, and then we need a, uh, we need whatever this is, so like a 10. Now that the coils are out, we're gonna use a spark plug socket and get the spark plugs out. Seems to, yeah. Good? Alright, so Toyota's apparently take a 5 ace uh, spark plug socket. The easiest way to do it is to take it off. Oh. Yeah, I was gonna say, why are you doing that? You need a rag. How do these look? They're kind of burnt. Yeah. They're running a little rich. Well, you could smell it when we started, yeah, the, when car we started the car up. It's a good thing not to lose the plug location as well as the coil location. So easiest way to do that is to do it like this. Put the spark plug by the consisting coil. So we know this is number one. So those go right there. That's number two, that's number three, and that's number four. You should always have a clean area to work that's not near the car that you're working on. Like kind of like, you know, a safe, a safe space in a way. Your spark plugs will tell you a lot about your engine. So this one, if they're all dark and burnt like that, it means that you're running rich. Don't know how rich, you'd have to get your readings, but you're definitely running rich. If it's white or kind of like white and all pasty look, not pasty looking, but if it's like white and dry, then you know you're running lean because that's, you know, excess air. Pay attention whenever you take your spark plugs out. All right, so now, Joey and I, instead of getting in and out of the car to do the, the uh, compression test, we're just gonna hook up this. We're just gonna hook up a remote starter from the battery positive, and then we're gonna jump her to the starter positive. So then we'll be able to manually turn the car from outside. Great. Okay, so we managed to hook up the remote starter. You go from battery positive to the starter. Then you grab here, grab a jumper wire, and I don't know how good you can see, but uh, uh, it's blurry, it's a blurry shot. But I'm um, right there, sorry. Underneath the intake manifold. There. Right underneath the intake manifold. There's um there's the starter motor. And I just hooked up to the pin that comes directly from the back of the solenoid and you get this. So So it cranks. No start, no nothing. Which is exactly what we need. Joey's now is gonna hook up the compression, the uh, compression gauge, so. Match it to the threads, bro. Looks like it to me. Yep, that's it, go ahead. All right, now. <clears throat> oh, we gotta get rid of it. Oh no, we have, so after you hook up the gauge and everything, well, you're supposed to do it before you hook up the gauge. We have to block the throttle wide open. So, I got some mechanics wire, and I'm just gonna tie the throttle plate we're gonna tie the throttle set it's open. So we block the throttle open uh, with mechanics wire. It goes from here, wraps to the air box. My, uh, my nifty job, you know what I'm saying? So now, we're gonna crank the motor uh, over four cycles. So 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, and it will go. We gotta let me know when you're ready. Whenever you are, bro. All right, you're the one doing this. Oh, sorry. 
Let's and the see. first bump one, is like 40. 110, 120, 130, 140, yep. 140. So 120. First puff was what? You it's supposed to it in the wrong place. First puff is supposed to be ha half of that. It was like 40. Like 40? You want to try it again? Or is it? No. All right, my um, my battery's gonna die. All right, first puff for this one was 40, which is bad. Your first puff's supposed to be half of your total reading, and our total reading was 120. We don't know if it's bad though because we don't have the specs. We'll look it up and confirm. But Joey's gonna go again. All right. I hold it a little longer to see how I would go. Do <laughs> so, you think we need to hold that Toyota for longer than the, what he said? It's a little after 40. Yeah, yeah it's so like about 50 about. It was like 40, I'd say like 45-ish. Battery died on that last part. Um, look who's here finally. <laughs> His tire de-beat it, so, uh, yeah. It blew up, yeah, same thing. <laughs> tire blew up, so he was really late today. But we're ditching Joey, as you can see. He, he's not with us, typically he's in the middle of us. <laughs> not with us, so we're ditching Joey. I'm gonna get a breakfast burrito. Hagen's probably gonna get some snacks, and then Joey and Hagen are probably gonna ditch me, so. I don't know, I don't know if I'm feeling snacks. <laughs> oh, well, Hagen just might wait with me to get a breakfast burrito, but. I brought snacks. <laughs> oh, well, he brought snacks. Well. Handful of Rice Krispie Treats. <laughs> unhealthy. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> All right, well. Uh, last part you saw, we were doing a compression test, and basically, after you hook up the gauge, that's that's really it. You just crank it 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, and like after 1004, then you just record your readings. Your first puff should be half of your final reading, so yeah, so just like that. Ours are really low, but we got to check it against specs. Always. Look who just arrived after we after being ditched. I was at, I, I came back and I'm like, wow, the first time that I actually got ditched. <laughs> so this is, how this it is what it feels like. <laughs> don't feel good, huh? No, I, I was like, do I even want to come? Because I really don't. The only reason I go is because they go. I was about to say you weren't even gonna come down here. <laughs> Omar, oh man, it's not fun no more. Oh man. Yeah, I, that's what I was, trying, I was like. Yo. I'm like, he's kind of right, but I think it'll end up alright. No, because then I was like, the worst thing that we could do is judge before we even get down there. The worst though. thing you could do is actually come because we don't want you there. See, Joey is saying how he really feels, right? He's saying how he really feels. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dean hella fell for that. I was like, Dean, how you doing today? And he reached out to Sam and I was like, <laughs> so mean. Recording is yeah, so Joey's behind the camera now, so we're gonna see how he does. World Star Cam. <laughs> World Star Cam. <laughs> I got it. World Star the rest of the day. Not yet. All right. point that way, I hope <laughs> you gotta make it shaky too. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah pretend like you're running for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> Let me hold your drink instead. <laughs> okay. Why, you can't handle the stairs? Go for it. Give me that after I know. Joey can't handle the Are stairs that the camera like comes with. I'm gonna put this in there. He's gonna warm up my drink with his testiculars. Testiculars. Well, I only got one now, so. <laughs> I kinda sold the other one for crack. <laughs> That's, you gotta be down on life, bro. <laughs> I'm actually, <laughs> I actually steal wooden pallets for a living. <laughs> you want to buy them now? Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> you have got to be down on life. <laughs> oh, wow. We actually have the whole shebang today. Everyone who is at K1 is here. We don't have Carl. Except Carl. Yeah. And Omar. <laughs> but nobody got, nobody got ditched today. Holy oh. shit. Care. We care about each other. After K1, <laughs> family again. Jade! <laughs> Earthquake drill, so we're chilling out for a second. <laughs> Off to the smoking area now. <laughs> Jesus. Standard for me. Alright, so <laughs> Alright, so we're trying to figure out the bed situation. And we're thinking it's gonna go Joey Hagen, no, Joey me, on the floor. And, me and Omar. I'll sleep is, on the fucking floor. Which no, think, that's what I said too. I said I'll happily take the floor because the floor is hard enough to where it's good for your back because my back typically hurts a lot. All right, so, floors are good. So yeah, so I'm I'll thinking go, I'll, I'll take, take the floor. With you with some like, unlike but, unlike, unlike this white privilege right there. <laughs> white privilege. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. All right, back to class. Uh, next, we are doing leak down testing. Leak down testing requires the same steps as compression testing, except you have to get one of your cylinders to top dead center compression. So with that, with the remote starter, what you can do is you can crank it until you feel until you feel a puff of air come out of the whip hose. So what you would do is you would crank it, you'll put your thumb over it, then when you feel air, then when you feel the air start to come on the compression stroke, let it out, crank it a tad bit more, and then you know you're at top dead center. Then you hook up your actual leak down tester, and then what that will, and then basically what you're checking is you're checking for cylinder seal. So 20% leakage is bad is like, you know, the max amount that you should have, but it's kind of the cutoff point. Anything more than that, your rings and your cylinder walls are worn. You gotta redo, you gotta, you know, time for engine rebuild time. Um, but any, like 20% and up is good. No engine seals 100%, so you'll never get zero on, you know, you'll never get zero on a leak down test, just FYI. Hold this. No, it wasn't. Alright, so now it's on compression stroke. But is it at top that's in it? Trying to check our marks. No, it's close. It's not there yet. It's not at zero yet. Let me see if I can move it. Ah, shit, it's moving a little bit, but not. Let me move it back. Let's turn it over an engine. <laughs> Alright, we. My mark, my mark says that we're at zero, yo. Yeah. Alright. So, all right, let's go now. Let's hook it up and see. Oh, shit. I had the shit at 10. <laughs> it was at 10 degrees. <laughs> I didn't see the one. In there you go. <laughs> I didn't see the one in front. Like I said, record oh, taken. Fuck. <laughs> hey. All right, so. All right, so all that moving and everything I was doing was to try and get the marks lined up at top dead center compression at zero. Uh, we got the marks lined up just to where we think it should be. It's like all the way. It's like all the way down there, that little tab, metal tab there. Just trying to get it lined up to zero. Right there, that's our timing mark. So look it up now and see if what well, we got. Drop that. Drop that. Drop that bitch in your voice. We suck. <laughs> we're uh, <laughs> we obviously we're terrible at this. This is my first time doing like a legit one by myself. Well, all of us I don't by ourselves. Yeah, we do. But we're gonna ask Ruben for some assistance because we uh we're having some trouble here. All right, so <laughs> nothing we do can be this good. <laughs> all right, so no, we're so we're doing it wrong. We're so used to we're so used to failure. So when we actually accomplish something, we're we're astonished. <laughs> I mean, technically we did fail. Ruben told us the right. So <laughs> we. We had it top dead center exhaust for number one, and since number one and number four are companion cylinders on this particular engine, number four was top dead center compression. So now we have 100%. So now the way it's set up is this right here, shop air, we have it regulated to 100 PSI, and this is our leakage gauge. We only have 2% leak. <laughs> How do you even calibrate? We only have 2% leakage, so it's pretty good. And Joey's asking how you calibrate the gauge. Remember how we did? Take the shop air out. Oh, that's it? Then put it back in, yeah. So we And we calibrated it already, so we know so it's good. Cylinder 4, you really think it's 2%? Yeah, it has to be. And so cylinder 4 is good Good as far as the leak down actually, test. it's almost, almost perfect. It's actually almost perfect. But like I said, no cylinder seals 100% no matter what. They all have some blow by all of them do doesn't matter doesn't matter what car it is they have yet to find a way to 100% seal an engine so yeah we're doing good today <laughs> we had a few complications and I didn't record them because at one point we were struggling to get the two middle cylinders two and three but we got it tests are done both leak down and compression tests we out so, here twerking. And now, now we out here twerking. So name, contact information, size that you want. I was. And then um, I'll fill in the receipt number. Yeah. I was late,
I do have a bunch there, so it's late. I'll phone. 60, right? 60. Monday, Monday, I will have your $60 for the jacket. What's that, my $60? It's the club's $60. I will have your $60 oh, okay. for the jacket. <laughs> I'm giving you the money directly, right, so it right. is your $60. There you go. <laughs> Strike your fuckboy post. <laughs> see where the mark is. Can you see it? No. Yeah, then you gotta turn use the belt and turn it. Motherfucker. You got we gotta get Joey in the gym. <laughs> we gotta get Joey in the gym, fam. I think there's another way of doing this. That you know Well yeah, we can get way. yeah, we can put a socket on it. Nah, you, we can get some muscle on them. Dude, we can get a socket on it. Let me see you do it, ho. It's not my turn yet. <laughs> there you go, see? 